Hello, my wonderful friends. How are you? And today we're going to talk about why you're struggling with the spring cleaning. Because I know a lot of you said, oh, I really just don't want to do it. I don't want any part of it. It takes too much time. It's a lot of work. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of work. I'm not going to lie to you. And you're sitting at your kitchen and you're looking at it going, uh, do I really want to do this? Well, I am Deb and you're in the office to uh, Deb and we're going to get you rocking and rolling on and starting to spin clean your kitchen. And yes, I said, we're going to get you rocking and rolling on that because if you're like me, once it gets nice out, you're going to want to be outside. You're going to want to be with the kids, your friends. You want to be outdoors. Maybe just reading a book or maybe with your laptop outside and doing your work and just chilling out watching the kids. And we, we're getting there because it, it's it's almost it's the middle of March now and the weather's starting to warm up a little bit now. So, now, how do we get you started on your kitchen spring cleaning? You're like, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I really don't. Well, that's where you take it one small step at a time. One. What I mean by one small step, I don't care whether you divide your kitchen up in four the four walls, north, south, east, west, and tackle a single wall a side of that wall, or if you tackle one appliance at a time, the refrigerator, the oven, whatever it is, the dishwasher. You're still like, I don't have time to even do that. Yes, you do. Because we all need a 10 minute break or so. And in that 10 minute break, you could be working on your cleaning your refrigerator and getting getting that started and getting that going. And, you're, and you're, your timer's going off the 10 minutes. You're like, oh man, I'm almost done. I want to finish this and get this done. And you're going to take those extra few minutes to get it done. I'm not saying you have to do it every day, but take those 10, that 10 minutes and get that done. So when your friend says, oh, I need to clean up my refrigerator, I don't want to do it, you'll be like, I'm done. I did it. It's ready for, for Easter. It's ready for spring. It's ready for springtime parties. It's ready. Do you know how good that feels to say, I did it? It's done? Do you know? Can you imagine how that feels? One less thing to do? Even if you have maybe a half an hour on the weekend, like all of a sudden the kids are gone, the hub and hubby's gone. Like, oh, I think I got a half an hour to myself. Tackle that one wall in the kitchen. Whatever's on that one wall. Do what you can. Go to work, go back to your kitchen, go back to that wall when you got three or four minutes, get one other thing done. Do what I do, leave the spray and, and the rag on the counter, leave it there to remind you. Mom, what's that doing? Leave it alone, it's mine. I'm working, I'm cleaning. And I found one thing, when when I'm cleaning, I notice they like, they, they like to leave the room. They don't like to be they don't want me. They don't want to be in the room with me when I'm cleaning. They're like, mm. so now I know how to get them out of the room when I want to get my spring cleaning done. I just start cleaning, and they're like, eh, I'm out of here. <laughs> She's gonna put me to work. I'm out of here. That works too. So that is my trick to get you started and get you going on clean spring cleaning. Even if you just get your dishwasher, you want to get that deep clean, get that done in 10 minutes, get it done. Take that 10 minutes and then go back to your work. We could all squeeze in some 10, 10 minutes in their time. And in that 10 minutes, you will feel accomplished and happy. You'll be glad you did it. And like I said, it's one less thing to do. So now we're doing the spring cleaning challenge in my group, the spring refreshing and brightening challenge. 
that's going on all month long in the month of, Mar month of March. You could still come in, even if you only do one week's worth of chores in between those the little time frame you have. It's there for you. Mondays, we've got uh, chore days. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we've got videos. Fight Your Friend is an accountability partner because we are rocking and rolling there and we're getting this, we're getting things clean. And my goal, like I've told you before, come the first day of spring, I wanna open up the windows and let that fresh air in. And I wanna be more than halfway done with my chores. So I hope to see you in my group. Thank you, my friends, for watching and happy spring cleaning. Bye.